Students often struggle to manage time between their academic and social life. With responsibilities and commitments piling up, effective time management is as important as ever to your overall well-being. According to the Center for Teaching and Learning at Princeton University, good time management can help reduce stress levels, increase productivity, and create more room for other opportunities. Therefore, by developing healthy time management behaviors, it can set you up to succeed in juggling all your responsibilities. But time management is not something that can be learned overnight. It's a long and difficult learning process, so let's look at some strategies that will help you succeed. First, ask yourself, what do you do to manage your time? Have your current methods benefited you? If not, what are the areas that could be improved upon? Keep these questions in mind. It may be useful when going through the rest of the video. Next is to create a long-term plan. Long-term planning helps ensure you're on the right track towards accomplishing all your goals. When planning your study schedule, you'll need to consider your busiest time periods. You may find that your short-term goals will be interrupted as you won't have as much time on your hands. So you should look at this time period long before it arrives so you can prepare in advance. Looking at the timetable in this way can help you set goals for the long term. Here are some good examples of long-term goals. Maintain an average of 75% by the end of the year. Complete a self-directed studies class from my home faculty. Improve my overall well-being physically and mentally by the end of the school year. At first, these goals will seem like daunting tasks. However, if broken down properly into SMART goals, they can be achievable with proper planning. SMART goals ensure that your goals are specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-bound. This leads us to our next step, which is short-term planning. Short-term planning is an amazing way to keep yourself accountable to your long-term goals. So instead of tackling a huge goal all in one go, it's easier to take small steps towards achieving your long-term goal. Always remember to recognize your small achievements so you don't lose motivation. You can set short-term goals on a weekly basis, a daily basis, or even both. Setting short-term goals can really help build a structure to your day. Let's look at how you break down your long-term goals appropriately. For example, let's take one of the goals mentioned earlier. Maintain an academic average of 75% by the end of the year. Some examples of short-term goals would be After each class, take at least one hour to review material that was covered in class that day. When reviewing new material, come up with one to two questions to ask the professor in the next class. Throughout your goal planning process, it is important for you to know how you spend your time. To do this appropriately, you will need time awareness. Tracking your time may sound tedious, but it's as easy as making a quick note every hour on how you spend your time. For those who are feeling extra motivated, you can take it a step further by making a table with two columns. The first column is where you write down how you think your day will go. The second column is where you'll write down how your day actually went. This method of tracking time will allow you to visualize how effective your day really was. And then ask yourself, did you really stick to your plan? Or was most of your day spent watching videos on YouTube? Try and do this for one whole week. And then group similar activities together into categories such as work, study, sleep, travel, and recreation. Now compare the time you thought you would spend against the time you actually spent on the activity. From this comparison, you'll be able to see which activities took longer than expected and if any needed more attention. Essentially, this will help you better distribute your time. We understand that adhering to your desired schedule can be scary, and you're going to experience a lot of hiccups along the way. But don't let this discourage you from beginning your time management journey. So here are some points to keep in mind when beginning your own process of building a schedule. First is to be honest. You are the only person that knows how you will utilize your time the best. Don't try to compare what you're doing to what someone else is doing, because what works for someone else might not work for you. Second is to be realistic. Don't schedule yourself three to four hours of studying when you know you can only focus for one to two hours. And if you know you'll be going to that party everyone's been talking about, don't schedule a study session at the same time. Third, be flexible. 
If your plans unexpectedly change, don't stress about it. Take note of it and do your best to make up for it later. And remember to alter your schedule to make up for the lost time. Fourth, remember to schedule in personal time. Students often forget to take time for themselves, but personal time is just as important as your other commitments. So remember to block off those times for relaxing, whether that is taking a nap, reading a book, or going for a run. Without taking time off for yourself, you are more likely to burn out and follow through with your schedule. 5. Be patient and stick with it. It'll be difficult to stick with your plan right away, especially if this is new to you. But start small and give it some time. For example, start with goals like going to bed and waking up on time, then work your way to bigger tasks. And last but not least, keep in mind that there will always be events or tasks that come up unexpectedly. But be sure to remind yourself to learn from each experience. And sometimes it's okay to make mistakes. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.